वेलकम बैक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू जनरेट द रैंडम नंबर्स यूजिंग मल्टीप्लिकेटिव कॉन्ग्रेंशियल मेथड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू टेस्ट वेदर द गिवन रैंडम नंबर्स आर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड और नॉट यूजिंग कोलमोग्रॉस विद नॉट टेस्ट विद अ सिंपल सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस वी हैव बीन गिवन फाइव रैंडम नंबर्स दैट आर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट वन पॉइंट टू फोर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन टू नाइन एंड पॉइंट वन एट सेवन वी यूज कोलमोग्रॉस मिर नॉट टेस्ट टू चेक वेदर द रैंडम नंबर्स आर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द रेंज ऑफ जीरो टू वन द क्रिटिकल वैल्यू इज गिवन एज पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स थ्री एट अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू चेक whether the random numbers are uniformly distributed or not using the kolmogorov mirnaut test first we arrange the given random numbers in ascending order so we will get 0.027 in the first number next 0.081.187.243 next we will get as 0.729 here n value is equivalent to 5 this is nothing but the number of given random numbers this is a calculation table for the kolmogorov mean not test the value of i will go from 1 to 5 because we have been given five random numbers r i is nothing but the given random numbers they look something like this now we need to find the value of i divided by n for the first case i is 1 n is 5 so 1 divided by Five is point two. Two divided by five is point four. Three divided by five is point six. Four divided by five is point eight. Five divided by five is one. Once we calculate the i divided by n value, next we need to find the i divided by n minus r i value. We know the value of i divided by n. We know the value of r i. So we need to calculate i divided by n minus r i. That is point two minus zero point zero two seven. We will get answer as point one seven three. Next point four minus zero point zero eight one, which is equal to point three one nine. Similarly, we will calculate the remaining values. Once we calculate the value of R divided by n minus R i, next we will calculate the value of R i minus i minus one divided by n. Here we know the value of R I, we know the value of I, we know the value of n. So we'll calculate R I minus I minus one divided by n. For the first case, we know the value of R I is zero point zero two seven. I value is one minus one divided by five. One minus one is zero, so zero divided by anything is zero. So we'll get R I as zero point zero two seven. And for the next value, I value is two. 2 minus 1 divided by 5, so this is equal to 1 divided by 5. So R is 0.081 minus 1 divided by 5. We'll get in the negative value, so we will not can consider the negative values. Similarly, we will calculate the remaining values. These values also will get in the negative form, so we will not consider those values. Next, we need to calculate the d plus and d minus values. D plus is always equivalent to maximum of i divided by n minus r i for all the values of i. That is, i will be in the range of one to n. From the previous table, we will come to know that zero point five five seven is the maximum value for i divided by n minus r i. So we will get d plus as zero point five five seven. Now we need to calculate the d minus. So d minus is always equivalent to maximum of r i minus i minus one divided by n for all the i values. So i value lies between one to n. From the previous table, we will get zero point zero two seven as a d minus. Once we calculate the d plus and d minus, now we need to calculate the d value. D value is equivalent to maximum of d plus and d minus. Now, if we compare the d plus and d minus, we will get a value as zero point five five seven because zero point five five seven is the maximum value between these two values. We have been given the critical value as d plus is equal to point five six three and the computed value is point five five seven, which is less than the critical value. 
so it means that the generated numbers are uniformly distributed in some cases the critical value is not given but the alpha value is given in that case we will use the d table to find the critical values here the alpha value is 0.05 so we will use this column to find the critical value but the question is that which row we need to select for that we need to consider the the number of given random numbers here the number of given numbers are 5 so we will consider this row from this row to this column we will get critical value as 0.56327 so if the critical value is given so we will compare the critical value with the calculated value if the critical value is not given we will use the D table to find the critical values. This is how we can check whether the given random numbers are uniformly distributed or not using Kolmogorov Smirnov test. I hope the concept of Kolmogorov Smirnov test is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.